Ravens flock, Ravens nation, flock nation. What's good, man? What's good? Uh, finally getting around to uh, my thoughts on the game we just played uh, versus the Panthers. Um, let me just get this out the way first. Shout, shout out to my boy, Fresh Life. That's the homie, Fresh Life. L Y F E. Uh, uh, shouts out to Boogie Down. Shouts out to my bro Abby. Um, all my original subscribers, any new subscribers, anybody that just watched the videos just to watch them, but don't care to do all the other extra. Shouts out to you too, man. But um, um, let me see what I want to get on first. Uh, let me just say humbly, uh, I'll really thought we was going to dominate this game. And not to say we didn't, uh, defensively at least. Um, but, you know, I had optimism for it. Uh, it just felt right just because uh, not so many times where a team plays Lamar for the first time. Not to say Panthers is the first time, but uh, as a starter, you know, uh, I didn't think that they would have a much of an answer for Lamar. And they really didn't because he played pretty damn good. It was just we wasn't able to to connect on a lot of plays. And uh, I guess we're just going to get into it right right quick. Uh, a lot of drop passes was going on uh, Sunday. Uh, and it's crazy because uh, I, I got the NFL app, right? So I had to listen to the game through audio, and then once the game was over, this is why I waited for so long to make a, a not a response video, uh, a video for the game, because I wanted to watch it first. And then when I finally watched it, it was late, so I'm like, fuck it, I'll just get around to it another time. But um, my thing is, right, all the time, All the teams that played this year that have a starting wide receiver and whatnot, you know, they had their games where it was low scoring as well. But for whatever reason, a lot of what we do, um, at least from Ravens Nation, gets highlighted extremely like we some damn Eagles fans or something like and I ain't saying we Eagles fans but that same intensity that same uh immediate boo response like I don't understand that but um just getting back towards the game <clears throat> uh a lot of drop passes uh, first quarter, um, Patrick Ricard, I remember, uh, pro share at one point. Um, now mind you, like I said, I was watching these games. Um, I was watching these games or watching the game, uh, after it, it aired. But initially, as it's going, all I can do is listen to the audio. So once I'm listening to the audio, right? <clears throat> It sounds like we are one of the worst teams out there. <clears throat> Just listening to the audio, to me at least at the time. I'm like, damn, what's going on? What's going on? What are we doing? Why are we sitting here not not converting? And then, like I said, hearing the drop passes. be weird but then the drop passes right so to get to a point in the game now I don't want to say flip the switch but momentum switch um and Marcus Peters when just a minute ago a lot of people were saying he was getting burnt Saying he was trash, saying he needed to go, saying he ain't worth it, saying we wanted to resign him, and this this dude go and make a play. 
I've been said it's no coincidence. Every time he on the field, he's guaranteed to make a play. I was I was uh trying to let uh one of the Ravens fans, I guess I don't know who it was, but I was trying to let them know Marcus Peters is the 2022 Dwayne Starks, the 2022 Chris McAllister. I'm telling you, and he keeps doing what he's doing, and he's bringing it to to the forefront every game. You can't, everybody, every, yo. And then he said, well, Peters is like that because he gamble. Yo, listen, man. You're not going to get the full package. Everybody got their vices with, with how they play the game. That's just how they are. But you can't take away greatness when you see it. The same thing with Lamar. Lamar passes don't be on point all the time. Fuck. I'll be the first one to say it. Lamar, uh, uh. Plays where he has to, like my boy Fresh Light said, the plays where he has to figure out whether to keep it or let it go, he be guessing wrong sometimes. He be guessing wrong sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. We'll take the good with the bad. I been made this comparison to Kobe. Kobe was the same way. Kobe Bryant was the same way. You could pass the ball out to him. He was not like Steph Curry, but nine times out of ten, you damn sure was going to make a, a tough three. And he would go for that tough three a lot. I'm talking about motherfucker could be draped up on him. He still uh, 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 fade away. Three. You know what I'm saying? It might doink one time but or airball one time, but guess what? You got to live and die with it. It is what it is. So the same thing is with Peter. So I don't understand how the slander with Peter came about. I'm not on that train. Uh, I understand uh, Proche dropped his one target. I'm not on, off the train on Proche. I just had high hopes for it because I had a feeling with being with, I didn't think uh, Andrews was going to play. So my thing was, even if they do shut down the run, who is going to step up and make a play? Who? It's a lot to ask a King and Drake to sit there and be the main no one starter. Justice Hill, <clears throat> he's he's serviceable, but I don't see uh, 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 elite talent or nothing like that when I see him. A lot of people might feel like that by pro shape. I don't care. I'm I'm not jumping off the bandwagon just yet. Uh, my guy <clears throat> has gotten nowhere near the targets as Duvernay. Nowhere near the targets as Demarcus Robinson. Nowhere near the targets as, as, as uh, uh, Hollywood. So, it, it, listen, you don't know who's going to come through in the game or who's going to step up as the season goes on, especially in the playoffs. I didn't start uh, really going full-fledged on Hollywood needs to be going until after the Bills playoffs game. <clears throat> until after. After the Bills playoffs game. And that's not to say he didn't play a good playoffs game. I just didn't like what the chemistry was and how the team was going while he was on the field. But it's the same thing happening with Andrew. Shouts out to my boy, uh, uh, No Pad, No Pencil Sports. I meant to shout him out too. Shouts out to him because he been said this. <clears throat> when that boy Andrew's on the field, the, 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 the passing game gets so condensed for whatever reason. You know? But everybody really jump on uh, Pro Shea back, but nobody clown motherfucking Andrews when he's supposed to be the top catcher on the team, and he be dropping passes. I've been I've been knew this about uh, uh, Andrews. It is I take it the good with the bad. It is what it is. But I'm not going to sit there and jump on somebody back who barely get targets, barely be in the game half the time, just be blocking half the fucking time. And when when you got an, compared to. Uh, a weapon on the field that already got his money. You feel me? Y'all keep saying he the top tight end. He shouldn't be dropping no passes then. Nobody's saying Pro the top wide receiver in the NFL, but they say that about Andrews. He dropped the pass. Why nobody outraged about that? It's crazy, man. Motherfucker be so quick to like throw shade, throw hate. King and Drake had dropped passes. I don't, I don't care. It don't bother me because at the end of the day, guess what? We won. We won. And that's what you play the game for, to win. You feel what I'm saying? I always, I'm going to keep saying it. I always compare this shit to pool. When you playing eight ball pool, guess what? 
every game, you're not going to sit there and leave people with seven balls on the table. It's not going to go like that, yo. Especially when you're playing uh, serviceable, serviceable people or when you mentally uh, having your own battles. You know what I'm saying? Not to say the team battling with their own battles. We know they do sometimes. But I'm just saying, for the sake of the conversation, the sake of the situation, it, it's not too many times where you're just going to dominate somebody uh, in a game, no matter what it is. Especially when you're playing somebody that, that know what they're doing. Not to say Panthers know what they was doing. But <clears throat> I just have my own little theory for what happened during the game. And to me, once I let it digest the, the last couple of days, right? Once I let it digest, I really feel like Roman didn't go in. It. And I, it's, I'm joking, but I'm, I'm serious, though, too. I really feel like Roman didn't go in the vault for that game. I really feel like Roman had his set plays that he wanted, that he wanted to run, that thought was going to work, and was just like, all right, fuck it. We're just going to get through the game how we need to. And somehow, some way, defense always make a play. You know what I'm saying? And I don't understand the, 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 the again, the shade on, this say no Super Bowl contender team. I'm going, I'm telling you, I'm going to screen record all y'all. Not in sequence, but at different points in times because it's crazy how much doubt be on this team. Listening to y'all words, right? Listening to y'all words. I be watching a lot of people's videos. Listening to y'all words that be having negative thoughts on the Ravens squad and this team and where we can be this year. Real rap. You would swear we was fucking 0-7. Oh, I said 0-7. Oh, you would swear we was motherfucking 0 oh, and, and goddamn 10. You would swear we was three and motherfucker seven. You feel what I mean? Like, it's never that serious, yo. We seven and three right now. For real, for real. And it's in the NFL, we at least three the, the number three or four team right now. So I don't understand how all the shade is right now, and we still winning games like this. <clears throat> it's one thing if it was fluke games. <clears throat> And it's coming down to the last two minutes and we getting Tucker out there, kicking a field goal and running off the field. That's not what's going on. That's not what happened. That game, literally, it was low scoring, but it was clear as day who the better team was. That don't mean you're going to win every time, but it was clear as day. It was clear as day. Nobody and nothing. Nobody was talking about how DJ Moore dropped the pass. Nobody was talking about how DJ Moore got clamped that whole game, but everybody was asking for DJ Moore. Did DJ Moore look like a number one out there? Because Terrence Marshall did. And I ain't too high on Terrence Marshall. I am not too high on Terrence Marshall. But where was Pro... Uh, I about to say, where was Pro Shea? Where the hell was uh, DJ, DJ Moore? He had, what, maybe one good catch in that game? But they'll clown, they'll clown all wide receivers, but the people they be talking about, the people they be wanting, when we go see them, when we go face them, and they don't do nothing, don't nobody say nothing. I don't get it. I don't get it, yo. DJ Moore was a non-factor, yo. Non-factor. They defense was holding it down. I went on Panthers, whatever the hell channel was, Meow Mix, I don't know, whatever the fuck they call themselves. But even they had to admit, Ravens came to play. Ravens defense ain't no fucking joke. It, it's for, it's real. You know what I'm saying? I keep trying to tell people, that, like, this is one of the best defenses we done had in so long, yo. Everybody was hating on Queen. Now everybody want to be on Queen nuts. Everybody was hating on Queen, but now everybody want to be on his nuts because he got some help. When I been saying how we don't know it ain't Malik Harrison fucking him up. How we know Malik Harrison ain't the fucking weak lead? Nobody talk about Malik Harrison and how he really not doing good, but they'll jump down Queen Throat, who is only, what, 22? If that, they was clowning him, man. Now, all of a sudden, oh, Queen playing lights out, Queen playing lights out. You think? You think? Why you think they had uh, Josh Bynes there where everybody can say, oh, Josh Bynes, he about to take Queen's spot. He, he about to take Queen's spot. Now what they saying? 
So I'm not jumping off the Prochet train because the next minute, the next game, wherever game, he, it might be playoffs game. He go off, y'all going to be switching up and on nuts. I already know. I already know. Instead of riding out with who you got, why, you, why they there, y'all sit there and jump shit real quick, then talk shit, and then backtrack, and then try to gloss over the fact, look, you was talking shit, Jack. You feel me? You feel me? None of these players sat there and tweeted about uh, not getting the ball. That's what made Hollywood a target when it come down to the shit. That's what made him a target. He stuck his foot in his mouth. All eyes on him. We was looking for him to be a number one. Nigga got 146 targets. He barely he made, barely made 1,000 yards off of that. I'm not trying to hear none of that. Okay? So I'm going to rock out with the team that we got. I want to see more. I keep I said it last before this game started. Uh, uh before before we even got to uh one of my recent videos, I want to see what these young wide receivers got. I knew Demarcus Robinson was a goat. Not a goat. I ain't gonna say no goat. I knew he was a threat. I been I, I'm a big Gators fan. I already knew. I tried to tell people. I put it in the video. D Rob, D Jack, D Duvernay, James Pro, all of them. I already knew what they could bring. I already knew what they can do. It just takes some people hardcore evidence and they face evidence to see what we got on a team. I don't need all that. I believe in my boys from the jump. I've been felt like Demarcus Robinson was damn good. I didn't think we needed him for the game just to beat no damn Panthers. But look, look what happened. So... However you want to do it, however you want to slice and dice it, y'all cannot keep uh, uh, hating on the team, disrespecting the team. We out here making a, a, a scene, you feel me? We making some noise. We ain't got to make no noise, but it, it's evident, you know? I I don't see nothing major coming from the uh, uh, Jaguars game. Uh, a lot of teams had low-scoring games this year. Uh, most notably, the Raiders. The Raiders, who got arguably one of the top wide receivers that everybody in their mama swear is nice. And barely, they, they got the one of the teams with the lowest points this year. Come on, man. As long as you're getting them wins, I don't care about the ins and outs of the game like that, yo. Now, if, like I said, if it, was, if it was on some shit where we barely winning the game and it's like, Two point differential or some old shit. Three point, I then then that's a whole nother conversation. But what I'm saying from this game, we just doing what we got to do to win the game. Keep it moving. Try to keep everybody healthy. Doing what we got to do. Win the game. Keep it moving. Save your energy for the goddamn playoffs. Y'all would rather us go to the Panthers and stomp them out sixty to nothing, and then. Uh, uh, dominate the rest of the season just to go be a dud in the playoffs. No. Do what y'all got to do right now. I don't care how ugly it look. Get it out of the way right now. That way when the playoffs come, we straight. We know what's going to work, what ain't going to work. We know what we didn't have success with, what we didn't have success with. All that, yo. All that, man. I just don't get uh, the slander. Everything was working in 2019 because we had J.K. Did we have J.K.? We might have had J.K. I don't know. Everything was working, though, because we had a solid running game and nobody was hurt until later in the season. And then everybody want to talk about we choked in the playoffs, but everybody keep forgetting Lamar had an injury that made him sit out the rest of the game. And it wasn't even no injury. It was a head injury, a concussion. You feel what I'm saying? It wasn't no, oh, he injury prone. No, it was a dirty hit. It ended up in a concussion, and we couldn't finish the game. That game was a low-scoring game. Matter of fact, if you win a Super Bowl, do anybody give a fuck what the damn score was? If you win a Super Bowl, real shit. If we won a Super Bowl this year, would anybody give a damn how many points we put up? No. So it's not that serious, yo. Get the win. Do what you got to do. Advance yourself. Get a better record. That's on the resume. Lamar is still doing damn good. The team is still doing damn good. Yeah, they didn't catch the ball. Everybody, a lot of people had dropped passes. So what? So what? God damn, y'all like Simon 
off of American Idol with this team, bro. God damn. I see. I'm still seeing EDC trash. How was he trash? He done brought Roquan. How is he trash? He done brought Peters. How is he trash? He done, he done drafted the queen. We seeing fruit of the loom of all this shit right now. How is he trash? Come on, man. And now, like I said, I can't clown on Roman. To me, he just did look like he, he did what he wanted to do and just to win the game. He did just enough to win the game. He did not dig in the vault and, and need no, nothing major to win, to beat the damn Panthers. You feel me? I'm not getting on him for that. Sorry. So, you know, y'all was looking for that. Y'all ain't getting that. But uh, Ravens Flock, Raven Nation, man, I just had to jump in with y'all, tap in with y'all real quick, man, get my thoughts on the game. Uh, Ravens Flock, Ravens Nation, Flock Nation, man. I feel like, I feel like we're going to Arizona this year, yo. I do. I really do. We ain't even going on, on to plays like that yet. We ain't even digging the vault yet. And I'm I, like I said, I'm clowning, but I, I really feel that way because just look at how the game went. Mind you, again, I watched the game after the game aired and I listened to the game live. It's two different things. It's two different things, man. Two different things. And I'm proud of the team. I'm proud of where we're head. I'm proud of where we're going. Marlon Humphrey playing good. And, again, it's crazy how people will sit there and say Marlon's playing lights out but ignore the fact that Peters be the fuck out there helping this dude. No different than how Roquan is out there helping Queen. It, it works hand in hand. That's what they doing. Then they'll turn around and say we signed the old players, washed up players. Like, come on, make your mind up, bro. Either you with the team or you not, yo. I'm not trying to hear, oh, oh, we. I want to see the team be just like this team because look at this team. Because look, fuck what they doing. We doing our own thing. If we wanted to be like them, we might as well change our name to them. We not doing that. We do our own thing. Too many motherfuckers out here want to be followers all the fucking time and don't have no identity of self. That's the problem with a lot of this shit out here, yo. Motherfuckers want to follow what's cool. Motherfuckers want to follow what the fuck the next person doing. Fuck that. Be you. Do what works for you. Stop trying to fit into some mold if it don't fit, yo. Grow a new shell. Stop trying to live in the next motherfucker shell, yo. For real, man. For real, yo. I'm not feeling that when, when motherfuckers be, be saying that shit. Well, look at this team. They even brought X, Y, and Z wide receiver. Juju Smith, not no Hall of Famer. Kadarius Tony barely could stay healthy. All of a sudden, he he didn't, he didn't even... Yo, is he even nice? What stats he done put up? Is he even better than DuVernay? Come on, yo. They be so... They, yo, they be on nuts. I'm talking about monkey. I'm talking about penguin. I'm talking about uh, kangaroo. They be on nuts. It's crazy to me. It's crazy to me. If a wide receiver not on the Ravens, they better than the Ravens somehow. You know Washington had a low scoring game with Terry McLaurin this year? You know Seattle had a low scoring game this year with DK? Come on. You know Raiders had a low scoring game this year with Devontae Adams? Come on, man. Yo, everybody, fuck all that number one, number two shit. Shouts out to uh, all 22 films, man. You know what I'm saying? What? Number one, number two, so what? Catch the ball. Make a play. Let's get this championship, man. Anybody trying to hear all that extra stuff? We got, we got NFL players. They got NFL players. Who going to make the plays the most? Who's here to make a play the most? Come on, man. Ravens Flock, Ravens Nation, man. Like I said, we're going to Arizona this year. I don't want to hear nothing about it. Wide receivers is lit. Offense is lit. Defense is all-time, one of the all-time greats right now. One of the all-time best defenses in the franchise right now. You feel me? 
How can you be mad at that? Get the ball right back to Lamar. Short yardage. Scoring touchdowns. That's it. Game. That's all we needed. We didn't have that type of defense when we was in the playoffs last couple years. Now we do. That's what everybody seemed to keep forgetting. Oh, Mahomes, he had such and such yards. Oh, Mahomes, he got this. He leading this. He leading that. Look how many passing yards. Look how many pass attempts he put up each game, bro. This man almost had 70 pass attempts in a game, bro. That's ridiculous, yo. Look how much he need to win the game. Everybody ignore the fact that they don't have no run game, and yet they'll sit there and say, well, you're going to play off. They shut down what you do the best. If all they do is pass, and when you get in the playoffs, they shut down what you do the best, what do they have to fall back on? Okay. 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 Oh, well, they, they replaced Tyreek Hill. How the fuck are you going to replace a Hall of Famer? How? Who out of all the wide receivers is in the Hall of Fame like how Tariq is? Nobody. Nobody. But they'll let you be, they'll, they'll talk you to death saying how great Mahomes is and all this and that. Yeah. In the system that was there before him. Yeah, with wide receivers that was there before him. Yeah, tight ends that was there before him. Yeah, Lamar changing on the fly. Yeah, adjusting on the fly. Yeah, man, listen, Ravens flock, Ravens nation. I'm going to tell you again, tell a friend, we're going to Arizona this year, yo. I'm out, flock.